Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. This is one of the best homemade French bread recipes. It's so soft and tasty. You serve it with butter or turn it into a delicious appetizer, and everyone's sure to love it. And it doesn't take all day to make it either. It only takes just a little over an hour and you're done from start to finish. So this recipe is for French bread. So you start by pre-pouring a bunch of your ingredients. And bear in mind that you will need boiling hot water for this recipe, but you will also need lukewarm water for the yeast to rise in. So all together, these are the ingredients that you will need to have on hand. You will need to have quick rise yeast, warm water, hot water, sugar, salt, vegetable or canola oil, flour, and an egg. And the egg is just used to do an egg wash on top of your loaves. So let's get started. Here are the recipe amounts. Start by adding a quarter of a cup of warm water to a bowl. And then sprinkle a little bit of white sugar from your pre-poured sugar, maybe about half a teaspoon. This just helps to activate your yeast. Then add one tablespoon of quick rise yeast to this. And then set it aside for about 10 minutes to soften. Then we'll take a separate mixing bowl and start mixing up the dough. Now this part begins with one cup of hot water. Then add one teaspoon of white sugar. And now half a teaspoon of salt. Two and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. And finally, three cups of flour. Now go easy on the flour. I don't always add the full three cups because I tend to be big on liking my dough to be a little bit sticky until you go to knead it out and that's where I add the extra flour if it needs it. And before you mix it too much, add the softened yeast mixture. And of course with the dough hook on your mixer, mix it until it's really tacky like this. You really have to mix it a fair bit at this point. It's great when it's nice and elastic like this. And as you can see, it's still a little bit sticky. That's good. So I'm going to cover it for about 10 minutes and let the dough rest for a little bit. Then you prepare your cookie sheet with a little bit of parchment paper. And once the 10 minutes is up, you can see that the dough is still very sticky. So just take that now and turn it onto a floured surface. And this is where you can add as much flour as you need to to make it into a soft dough. Just enough to make it easy to roll. I also find it helps to flour your rolling pan a little bit. So now to work with the dough. It helps to flour your hands as well and then just knead it a little bit and just keep adding enough flour to make it easy to roll out. Now I'm going to cut this into three so that I can make smaller loaves. Now this is entirely up to you. You can make just one large loaf or you can cut it into whatever sizes you would prefer. The baking time may change based on how large the loaf is though. Either way, you take the dough for each loaf and roll it out like this, and you make it into a bit of a rectangle shape. This method helps to avoid air pockets in your bread. Now take and roll it up jelly roll fashion. Then pinch the ends and tuck it underneath the loaf. Then take a sharp knife and score the top three or four times. Take your beaten egg and brush the top of your loaf. Then place the loaf on the prepared baking sheet. Now do the same with each piece of dough that you have. Rolling it out into a rectangle and then taking it by the long way and rolling it into jelly roll fashion and placing it on the parchment paper. And then of course taking a sharp knife and scoring each loaf like this. And the egg wash on top of all three loaves. And I like to sprinkle the top of each loaf with a little bit of kosher salt. Now then you let this dough rise, uncovered, for about 30 minutes in warm place. Then preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Place the pan in the oven for about 10 minutes. Then remove the loaves off of the baking sheet right onto the oven rack and then continue baking for another 10 minutes. And this will help to brown up your crust a little bit better. 
And if you want a crispier crust, you can place a pan of hot water on the rack about four inches below it while it's baking. Now I didn't do that, but I did spray the tops with a little bit of water, just to help make a little thicker crust. And this turned out really well. This bread is so easy to make and so delicious that you're really going to need to try this. And remember, it's your kitchen. You can make the loaves as large as you want them to be or as small as you want them to be, depending if you want to use it for appetizers or on the side or if you want to make a sandwich out of it. Go ahead, it's your world. But cut this while it's hot and have a piece while it's fresh out of the oven. There's nothing like it. Thanks for watching. Now go make some.